Uh, what's up, everyone? Uh, the base didn't get raided. That's great. So I've got myself a little good, a little kick going, and I wanted to craft up another another uh, cryo fridge. I can put it up the top because I checked the tribe blog and the RJ I had up there is dead now. So I need to make a cryo fridge, but I don't have enough poly. So I'm gonna have to go up there and literally get seven poly. Actually, I think it may be better to just get 30 on my own. That'll probably be better. But yeah, we need to make a crowd fridge so we can throw out our RG. And hopefully go tame some more uh, frogs and then just utility teams, I guess. Let's check out the raft. We literally have seven poly in there. That'd be incredible. I don't think we left anything. Oh, uh, there's some obsidian up here. Let's actually bring that back to base and turn that to poly. <clears throat> uh, we'll take the flak. Uh. Oh, okay, okay. I completely forgot. I should have kept up this gunpowder. Okay. So we've got some obsidian in the fabricator. We're just going to bring that back down to the base. And then we're going to craft that up. And uh, make some poly. And also, while we're just sitting up here, we're going to make as much gunpowder as we possibly can. Because it never hurts to have a lot of gunpowder. And I forgot, but I also need to make an indie today. Because that would... Be very good for getting metal. Alright, we finally found the, the cave. Yeah, that took way longer than I wanted it to. There we go. Alright, 26. Yeah, it's more than enough. There we go. 30 poly. Hurry up, bro. Perfect. Every single resource to the perfect amount. That was amazing. I want to test the range out. If this spot works like I want it to. Okay, can you fucking stop hitting me, you piece of shit? Uh, where's show range? Show crap over range. Alright, it just doesn't want to do it, but that's fine. Is over. I actually thought it was going to be a lot longer, but that's fine. So, I can finally throw out all these stupid dinosaurs I want. I think we'll just level these all up into HP and we'll just let them loose. But yeah. <clears throat> we get this, we get our RG now. I think our next, our next goal in mind is to get some good frogs. Because we're really lacking in that department. So no worries. Come on. Alright, we got the 135 frog knocked out. They'll tame on just raw meat, so that's all we need. Let's look at the stats. Uh, it's pretty bad. But honestly, the numbers make me happy. Just seeing the high level, that makes me happy enough, so I don't really care.
use some of that to make that forge. And then I also want to use a good bit of it towards just crafting turrets and stuff because we're going to need that. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the base. No, I'm going to, I'm going to go get the frog. I'm going to go back to the base, grab the donkey, and then get all of this inside the base. Alright, how's the frog looking? Um, yeah, this frog's pretty bad. But, I don't really care, I guess. It's just, it's a frog. It'll work. So we had to sacrifice quite a bit of stuff to carry the metal, but I think it's worth We'll just need to farm some extra crystal and oil when we get back to the base to make that forge. But I think that's very doable. Yeah. Alright, we're pulling up back to the the raft and the frog and everything. So we're going to throw out the other frog and load up as much stuff as we can. And then bring the donkey back up here. And with a stego, I'm going to get some berries and then finish getting the rest of the stuff. Load this one up with polymer. Still righty, right? Yep. That's our frog that we're gonna use. And then we're gonna oil, crystal, and then there's no way I'm gonna get so Oil, crystal, and this is that. Okay, carry a little bit more. Is there anything else we need? Uh, nah. Right, so just get the frogs down to the base. Alright, looks like that frog's a little too stupid to follow me. So let me just put this frog up here. Get some flippers. All we need is crystal poly oil. That's our only struggle. Poly's not enough. We can craft them some. If it's that easy. Alright, we got all the poly crystal and oil that we need. So we're gonna get back to base and then use the donkey. Yeah. Alright, donkey. Okay, it does have one. 2.1k weight. Ah, uh, that's fine. So no reduced metal. That's really bad. Okay. Metal. So it's literally half of the weight just right there. Which fucking sucks. Yeah. 
Alright, we didn't get everything in the base yet, but we at least got enough to make this forge. So I just crafted it up real quick. Uh, just because I don't want the poly to expire or anything. Okay, let's get... Let's get it, try and get it right here. Boom. Actually, let's move it a little bit farther back. That's a, that's a good spot. It'll snap right there. Okay. Let's turn it this way. There we go. Got a forge. Alright, we've got everything back in the base. Including all the berries. So, yeah. I think now I'm, I need to kill that carbo down there hatch my eggs and then I've got the berries to start raising the babies Take a shot. Okay. parasaur turtle turtle alright so I finally killed that Carbo. Uh, what kind of saddle did it have? No way. A prim saddle? Whatever. So I think now I should be able to throw down dinosaurs. Right? Let me throw this baby carbo. No way. Enemy structures nearby. This is turrets, aren't they? I hate that so much. I hate that so much, dude. Ugh. If I could literally just get an R throw down here. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. Hold on. I've got a genius plan, alright? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our frogs up there, go get our raft, and we're just gonna swim the Arthur all the way down here. Because how much oxygen does the Arthur have? Let's see. 150? That's gonna be risky. I mean, if if anything goes bad, I'll just pick up the Arthur. No biggie. But, like, I seriously can't have this. It's very frustrating. Alright, Arthur's in the base, on top of the raft, I guess. So now we're just gonna put the raft on top of the pearl cave, and then swim it all the way down. Okay, Arthur's can swim decently well. Ooh, yeah, this is not looking too good. Wait, hold on. They have unlimited- they have- Ah... Uh... I forgot about that. They have an unlimited oxygen stat. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about anything right now. Besides so getting attacked. We've got like 900 damage on this thing. Holy shit, I'm getting dizzy. Uh, okay. We got the R throw in. Heck yeah, it fits too. That's nice. Alright, now we've got to get started. I'm breaking up. Some stuff. That's one one hit? No way. One hit? Is he gonna one hit all of these? Oh my oh my babies. Oh my babies. I forgot about them. Okay. What's the health set on this? 6.4. What's the health set on this one? 6.4. So I think we have a female over here with a mutation. Because I got a baby with 6.7. 6.6. So this is the really good one. 
That's 6.4, the other one's 6.6. .6. That's a decent difference. There we go, last turret down. Hell yeah, bro. And we didn't even lose the foundation. We can use that for spam. Alright, so I just need to... Let me move this turret, because it doesn't do anything right now. Let's get one right here. Let's get one right here. I'm not turret. Generator. We need a second generator. But. Fuck it, man. I don't really know. It's going to take me a little bit before I can get another generator. Because I'm really low on metal. Alright, real quick. Let's see if we can throw out this Giga. <gasps> no fucking way. No fucking way we can actually throw out the Giga. No way. Oh my god. Dude, that's... That's literally huge. That is so good. Oh my fucking god. We've literally got a Giga in here. Holy shit. Okay. Or ancestors melee breeder i think they definitely have a second base but oh my god you can actually fit a giga in here that means i can definitely fit a rhino and stuff in here as well there we go dude that's so good oh my god We're just gonna shove turtles at the entrance, I guess. For when we go to sleep, at least. So right now, we're just gonna get this one right. We're just gonna shove him right here, and then heal him up. So whenever we hop offline, we can just toss him in the entrance and put him on aggressive. Alright. So, that's gonna be it for episode 2. Uh, I know this was really PvE, but... We did make a lot of progress. We got this Giga inside the base. And yeah, we, we've been doing really good. So I might do some off-camera taming and farming. But if I get into any PvP, I'm definitely going to record it. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Uh, see ya.